Um, hi, this is Nathan Sobic with SobicSource.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to edit read-only um, code base for Arduino in uh, Arduino IDE. So, have you ever wanted to edit a read-only example file? Um, a, one reason to do this would be because um, the file is written for a Uno and you have a Mega, like I do. Um, which isn't really a big deal, it's a matter of changing a few pins, but it's kind of annoying whenever I want to like start a new code base and I have to go in and you know and redo all the pins again. So um so like for example we load the examples. Um this is probably off the screen here, but the uh TIFF paint example um is I have to go down here and I need to change these to uh pin 23 and pin 22. So, and just to make a note, uh, 9 and equals 23, just so that I remember. And then down here, do the same thing. But now, I mean, know as well as I do, if you go up here to file, well, let me do this first so I don't lose everything I just did. The trick is just to go through here, copy, but if you go up here to file and you try to click save, it gives you this message. Some files are marked read-only. You'll need to resave the sketch to another location. And it wants to save it as a new file. But I don't want to save a new file. I want to save one of the original files. So all you got to do is just go through and copy like I just did. So Right-click, click Copy. Then you can go ahead and close it out. So all you got to do is navigate to your Libraries folder, where it's, lo where it's uh, located and mine's right in the Arduino inside libraries. I'll go in to the examples. I'll find this one. All I gotta do is open with notepad. What you'll see is a garbled mess, but it's actually in the same arrangement as it is in it. So I gotta just come up here, press control A to highlight all, then press control V. Um, now it's back to the way you like normally see it in the IDE. And it also added the extra notation you got to do is click and save. That's it. It's now saved that way. So if you open this file back up in the Arduino IDE, it's loaded up on my other screen, what you'll see is that the new pins have been added and it saved it the way it was. Okay? Go.